Just picked this first gen up yesterday. 1993 W350 four wheel drive, five speed manual, regular cab truck. It's actually a pretty hard configuration to find with the four wheel drive from factory and a 350 regular cab. Interior. Five speed, exhaust brake, four wheel drive. Still got a little bit more cleaning to do. We got to shampoo the carpets and stuff, but very clean truck. Tons of extra parts. Got a new fender for it as well. I'm getting ready to drop it off. The paint and body work this weekend. seems right guys so what is going on guys welcome back to another video it's been a solid three weeks or close to a month since i've been on youtube we've been busy with a lot of stuff with the business and the brand and just grinding out different aspects that have been overlooked for a long time and it's been fun it's been new it's been different but the point of today's video is going over this truck which you can now enter to win at lmpgear.com it's a 1993 w350 12 valve Cummins with a five speed manual transmission. Since it's a W series and not a D series, check this out. It's a four wheel drive. So you're talking a four wheel drive, W350, five speed manual, regular cab. It doesn't get much better than this. And a bench sheet. <laughs> it's got a bench. It's got a bench. Um, I can see why they took the benches out of the new trucks. I mean, it's a scary thing, you know what I mean? Like, if you're in any kind of a serious relationship, you got a bench, so you better watch out. We're going to go all the way around this truck and um, just give you guys a good look. And then we're going to go through everything that we did to the truck. And it's it's a lot. We, we did a lot to the truck. Give you a little bit of a backstory on it and why this thing is so freaking cool, if you don't already know. A lot of you might already see this thing and go, uh, you don't need to say anything about it. It's rare. It's cool and it's hard to find. But let's give you a quick little walk around. So we got, you know, of course, the regular cab long bed configuration. We do have the big mirrors on it. I know some guys like, oh, I hate the big mirrors, but hear me out. If this was not a dually, I would agree. But since it's a dually, and it's a four wheel drive, the front end being a lot higher with the mud trains, the whole beefy aspect of the truck, I actually like these mirrors on this thing. Believe it or not, I do. Um, but the mirrors were of course taken off in the paint body process, new rubber washers were put on. The doors so the paint did not get scratched and then we put the paint match hardware onto the mirrors there to kind of give it a little bit of a little bit of a cool accent it was either that or like either a zinc plated or a, like a copper colored bolt and the paint match bolt has just like the best in our opinion the badging it's actually the original badge other than like this gash here the only thing we had redone on the badge is we had new paint put on the red strip there because it was really faded out. So we ended up kind of like ditching the whole rubber thing and just having it painted because it's kind of a hard thing to get original stuff. And that's the best remedy we could think of. And it, it looks really sweet. Show you the five speed and everything on the inside here. Gonna remove the buzzing sound by showing you the interior. So if you want to show them the inside of this thing, it's, of course it's 1993, 1993. it's a 30 year old pickup. 
um, but it's the five speed. It's got a Banks jig brake system on it, four wheel drive. The cruise works and everything. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Gauges, they all work. Um, it is of course, typical first gen missing the headliner. Honestly, it's not that bad because the headliners always fall apart anyway. Uh, but we could actually just throw a new one in there from like LMC truck or something. Um, but other than that, it's everything works on the inside other than needing a good carpet shampooing on the driver's side. It's actually, it's very clean power windows and locks, all that work. We're not going to hit the windows right now because this tent's only like a day old. This truck, the whole thing was, it was a secret for about a month. But in terms of everything that was finally done on this thing, it was all done in like a day. So, um, we were busy the last couple of days to say the least. So, that is, um, that is the truck. Now, we're going to go through and become a little more specific with the actual part by part on this thing. Um, not get too geeky on the details, but just the generalization of what we did. So the headlights are LEDs. We actually bought these and put these in. They're kind of like a, like a smoked housing with a chrome edge finish on it. And they look really good. They're super wicked bright on the thing. Um, so that's nice. The grill is not an original Dodge grill. It's an aftermarket because like they typically do, they get busted down the center and then you either keep the broken original one or you put a replacement. So the guy before us, he's the one that put the replacement on there. But it's actually not that bad because we also got rid of the original Dodge bumper and did a full chrome face bar bumper with no plastics on it, which actually looks really good with that grill that doesn't have the Dodge lettering. I know the guys that are huge OEM, you know, Mopar guys, you know, they're kind of heartbroken if it doesn't have a Dodge thing on it. But it overall does match the front appearance of the truck without all the black lettering and stuff. So in that aspect we like it we do have some if you want to look at the wheels these actually came on the truck but they're 16 inch alcoa wheels and we didn't see any point in getting rid of them because it goes perfectly with the look we were trying to accomplish which is that like first gen bubba truck look just looking mean and thick and it looks all of that so that's sick and we do have a corner marker lights i'm gonna actually put the lighting back on so you can see all the lighting when i point things out So of course, we already showed you the headlights. And here's the corner marker lights. It is just LED strip instead of the little halogen bulb and the little housing. And it looks super mint. We added the Cummins badging on the truck. We did debadge everything else though. We do have all the moldings and everything, but it was just, it just looked tacky. I don't know. I mean, some guys love the original moldings, which is why we still have them. We're still keeping them, but the big fender moldings and all the badging on it they're like it was it, it's cool for the original aspect but in terms of doing that like oem plus like keeping it somewhat original looking overall but like putting a twist to it we wanted to debadge it and leave the badging off and just do a simple cummins turbo diesel badge on there with chrome and black to kind of go with the wheels and mirrors and the tin just kind of like that charcoal chrome and smoke look um so everything is debadged the paint is actually gunmetal gray metallic. It's an aftermarket paint coat, of course. You could never get this truck with that paint coat from factory. And that's another one of those things, like it's not factory, um, but it just fit this thing so perfect for the goal we had like in mind of what we wanted it to look like. I mean- I mean, when you get up close- Our paint this guy thing, hit it out of the park. Just... Yeah, I mean, our paint guy hit it out of the park. It turned out so sick. It almost looks, actually the sunlight in this spot kind of helps see the, the glittery look a little bit better maybe. Um, but it almost has like a bass boat glitter to it. And it's it's pretty cool. It looks really good. In terms of tint, um, we're not done with the tint because the windshield has like a small crack in the center, which I did not realize until I got like home after buying it. And so we're not tinting over the cracks, even though I don't think it's gonna go anywhere because it was like technically patched fix, but I don't really trust that stuff. So we're having a whole new windshield put in on Monday and then the windshield tint will be done after that. But for the meantime, we did the side glass 5%, back glass 5%. The cab lights, we did have those paint matched as well. Smoke housing with amber LED lighting, which is actually in a circle formation. And it looks really, really mean, especially when the sun's going down and it's, you know, the lighting's perfect. The thing looks super, super intimidating looking at it head on. It's super sick. 
We do have, of course, the first gen dually fenders and these things look so sick. Some damage on the far side, but luckily the guy that I bought the truck off of, he sent another OEM one that was not damaged with it. So our paint guy was able to swap that out, get it all refinished and repainted and put them back on the truck. Looks really good. MVRP 426 exhaust tip. Um, looks really good. Looks great. Tires. You guys are going to ask about the tires, okay? Toyo MTs. We had to go with a Toyo MT. We were going to do like boggers. And the guys that I asked, I talked to like Ernie Boggs and a couple other guys and asked DNA about, you know, their trucks with boggers on them. They love the look, hate the ride. Um, that, that's what I heard. So I was like, okay, well, whoever wins this truck, I mean, kind of hoping they don't daily drive it all year round if they live somewhere that gets a lot of salt and snow and stuff. But, you know, regardless, I wanted to make sure that it rode good. I want somebody to have a truck that they can ride and drive anytime and it's comfortable, it's fun, it's not throwing you out of your seat. Because these trucks already kind of ride rough as it is. So why emphasize how bad they ride by putting an absolutely terrible riding tire? So we do have a Toyo MT, so we get that aggressive look. But they are a very good riding tire. 305 70R16s. And they totally lock side to side. Like I said, it's a 16 inch wheel. They're eight by two five or eight and a half wide rims. So gives you that really meaty, really beefy look. There's no additional front spacer on the front but there is a two inch spacer between the rear duals, which is what gives you that little bit of separation between the tires so you don't get any rubbing. Almost forgot this little fine detail here. These steps are on the truck and I know some guys hate the side steps, but I actually told Miguel to paint match these suckers. Look at the sparkle in the paint. The steps are actually painted to match the entire truck. And this was a rust free truck, by the way. Um, he did have to keep, fix a couple small dings and stuff on the truck, but it was a rust-free truck. There was no rot anywhere on the truck. Even on the frame, if you check here, like, yeah, it's oxidized, okay? But there's no rot. Like, there's no actual rot anywhere on the truck. You could literally just oil bath the frame of this truck and let it drip, and it would look like a brand new truck frame, and there's no scaly stuff of any kind on this. Cab mounts and everything are flawless. Okay, on to the next. Tail lights are brand new. They are OEM style with just the chrome housing. Had to do that to match the bumpers and the badging. Um, like I said, we tried to keep it somewhat OEM on some of the accessories. So it's not completely like absurd aftermarket, but we just changed enough of it away from OEM to give it like that mean aftermarket look. Um, I think we did a pretty good job. Let me know down in the comments below. Bumpers brand new. Um, we replaced the rear bumper. It had just a couple small dings. I didn't like it. Um, had a couple small dings. We just got to pop the lighting back in, which it came with some brand new lighting and stuff. So just gonna pop the lighting back in and it's all good to go. But it's a brand new rear bumper, nice and straight, no dings or dents. This was that fender that I told you had to be replaced because it was all busted up. Um, so this is a totally different one, but it looks, looks perfect. Turned out really, really well. Aftermarket lighting I already mentioned here on the side marker lights cab light lenses, the headlights, the front bumper, I mean, paint code. I think that's for the most part, I think that's it. It seems like a fairly short list and sometimes less is more, if you know what I mean. Um, Cause if you go too crazy, sometimes you just kind of ruin a truck, you know what I mean? And this was one that we didn't want to ruin it. We wanted it to look exceptionally cool, but we also didn't want to keep it completely stock OEM but I think it's a pretty good balance and it's gonna make somebody one heck of a truck. Hopefully you guys enjoy the, the short walk around of this truck. Maybe we'll try to get a drive along here soon. Um, for everybody that entered for the OBS Ford, like always we should have a winner within one to two weeks after the closing date of a giveaway which was July 30th. So between like August 6th and the 13th give or take we should have a winner for that truck and then they will be coming on out to grab their truck and their cash. Um, but in the meantime, you can enter to win this beautiful 93 one-ton four-wheel drive, five-speed manual, 12 outcomes, first gen plus $5,000 in cash. Guys, this is gonna be a really hard one to top. I mean, we've done some checks where like, man, it's gonna be hard to top that in terms of pre-emissions, old school, cool. This is gonna be really hard to top just because of how hard it is to even find this truck, um, let alone redone and looks this good. 
But uh, hit that link, lmpgear.com. Buy anything on the site and you're automatically entered to win because 30 times entries are live for launch week. Best of luck to you. Peace.